This Thursday only on CBS All Access, a legend returns. Sir Patrick Stewart reprises his iconic role as Captain Jean-Luc Picard in the highly anticipated original series, Star Trek Picard. Follow this hero on an unexpected mission as he travels into the far reaches of the galaxy and battles against the odds to fight for what's right. With help from a new crew of complicated, funny, and memorable characters, Picard's boundary-pushing adventure promises to extend the captain's legacy, defying expectations along the way. Stewart will also be joined by beloved cast members members from across the Star Trek universe, including Brent Spiner, Jerry Ryan, and Jonathan Frakes. The journey is about to begin, so sign up today for CBS All Access by visiting cbs.com slash smoshcast. That's cbs.com slash smoshcast. Get your first week of CBS All Access for free and stream Star Trek Picard starting this Thursday. Saturday night, went on a date. Sunday, Whoa. brunch, Whoa. date. Sunday night, Date. You went on what? two you, dates you, in one. That's you, three. Yes. When I talk to other guys, it's still this very like man type way of talking about things, mm -hmm. right? Where it's like, like it's you like, don't want to sound like you're complaining. Where it's you're not you're not really fully venting. Video game movies have never worked because video games are a lot like books in that you're going to spend 40 to 50 hours with a story and that's what makes you love them so much. If a game were two hours, you'd be like, this game sucks. Knowing that I go on a tour with Damien. And we know Damien likes to poop. The number one rule of any tour is you don't poop on the tour bus. First of all, no. No, it's not. Yeah. You made that yes. up. That's thing number... <laughs> Before I hand this thing back on over to Ian to host, I want to give a quick shout out to Star Trek Picard, Bombas, Sleep Number Bed, and Betterment for sponsoring today's episode. Uh, here is a list of spoilers for Danganronpa 1. Oi, it's a Danganronpa! What other games has is, uh, is the studio just made that? or they... Spike Chunsoft, they've made a bunch. Okay. Any that I would know. I don't know, I have to look. Probably. Whoa! Welcome to the Smosh cast. Uh, hello, <laughs> I am Ian, and today I am joined by the two sweatiest boys in this office. I was going to say hey, but uh, for me it's probably yeah. Extremely sweaty. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Shane Top and Damian Hodge. I'm the second one. That's me. Hey. I actually don't think, I'm not a sweaty person. I'm a no. sweaty man. I'm not a sweaty person. I haven't seen you sweat that much. I, when seen... I, I notice a lot of times when I, when I, even when I work out, I don't sweat that much. What? It's because it's so easy. I'm a furnace of a man, therefore I'm always cooking within my own bones. Yeah. Therefore my body sweats oodles. But I have very good hygiene, so you wouldn't necessarily notice. You have a bunch of those pocket warmers inside your bones. Yes, Instead true. of bone marrow, you have those. That's the problem. I replaced all my immunity-making bone marrow mm. with gosh dang pocket warmers. Pocket warmers. It's <sighs> so annoying. Don't you hate when you do that? I do. I hate that. All the time. Well, I'll never ask you for bone marrow. Good, I wouldn't give it to you anyway. Right. Not with that attitude. I hear that's painful. Not taking any of my damn bones. I don't know if I would. I would, like, I would. Yeah, where was that going? I don't know. Oh, like, I was saying, say... like, to, to, to Ian. I don't know. If he well, asked for like some Ian, of my bone yes, marrow, I don't know if I would. I think I would. Well, you got to be tested for it to see if it's a, if you're a good. If um, we have equal bone marrow. If we got equal if marrow. If we have grade A bone, Are you a saying bone marrow. You think you're on a bone marrow level with this guy here? You think you can hold a flipping candle to the tallow within his bones? I've never broken a bone, which means I must have good bone marrow. Power bones, my dude. Mm, your marrow's never leaked? Nope. Never leaked my bone marrow. Mm. Uh, have you guys checked Twitter? Shane's bone marrow leaked. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, man. Uh, my bone marrow's leaked. It leaked. Who leaked it? <laughs> oh, dang. Um, guys, it's... Oh. Uh, I, I swear, like a, as we get further away from Jan One, we will stop talking about uh, uh, looking back into 2019 Ugh. and looking forward to 2020. But it is like you know, it, this is still the beginning of the year, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, we're you know we we're, we got to be you know thinking about resolutions. But like resolutions are boring because it's like oh I want to eat, eat less gluten. But like what is everyone's what is everyone's goals for 2020? Mm. Well, I can tell you, I can tell you one. Okay. Mm. Definitely one. Uh, I, I am determined, and I tried to do this last year and the year prior, but I failed. But I'm determined. I'm saying <laughs> it out loud. I'm going to do the splits. Oh. By the end of this year, I will do the splits. Ooh. Yeah. What's your, what's your game plan on that? Are you like testing flexibility every day? Or so like I am, tr I'm trying to stretch every day. I looked up this, I'm looking up, there's like, you know, kind of like 30, do the splits in 30 days, which I'm obviously not going to do in 30 days, but it's like, here's stretches that'll eventually get you to that point. Mm, wow. Um, so I'm starting off, you know, making small steps, you know, just trying to stretch a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and is it hurting so far? You know, yeah. 
I'm, I'm very, very unflexible. So yeah. it'll be a huge leap. Ooh, um, you got to get those. You got to get the um, like the male Lululemon pants. So you oh, can start yeah. like really getting your stretch. Yeah, on. that'll help. If I get yoga pants, that yeah. I've, that'll Actually, make me more. Yeah. That'll gain plus five to flexibility. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Real talk. I think you might be starting from a place that would be more difficult than most people because you are so physically fit. You've built a lot of like strong muscle on the frame you've already yeah. got. Yeah. So now you've got to work past that. My, my tendons are extremely tight. From, from just sever them. Yeah, just sever my tendons. Mm -hmm. You know, I just thought it's got to be so weird as as a man to do the splits naked. Done it. Because like, have you now? <laughs> yeah. Like like on a cold floor. Well, that's you're just good. saying slamming, that. slamming the. Yeah, slamming the pouch. Slamming the, the goods. <laughs> slamming those goods against the ground. That's got to be like, yeah, you're what do you do? Dropping the groceries. What do you do? <laughs> when I, I was know. in a. Drop an anchor. Yeah. Oof. When I was in karate as a youngin, um, you could get different like stripes on your belt, and like blue was if you had like a good moment of like self discipline, and like uh, you know black was for like the next mark on your test, uh -huh. but, and but brown was for slamming that nuts <laughs> against brown the ground. For, no, actually that was white. White was for if you could do a Chinese split. Um, and so I was able to only at one point in my life do that. I think it was mm. on my purple belt that I had a white stripe. Is a Chinese um, split where you're splitting with your legs forward and backward? That's side to side. American side split side. is forward and back. Oh, but interesting. Side to side. Wow. Um, so, yeah, but mm. I would practice at home. And I'm sure at one point after a shower, I was like, I'm all limber. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. And I probably plopped the old bean bag on, yeah. the, on the hole. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> Shane, so, Shane, you're going, you're going for a Chinese split then? Uh, no, I'm going for a split. I'm fine with any version of a split. Disclaimer, mm. I don't, I feel like that's just what my karate studio yeah, called it. I don't know if it, Well, see, now saying it may be, but I don't, that's always what it was called. So if that's wrong, I apologize. That's how I learned I think, it. But uh, I yeah. think that type of, I know the type of split you're, yeah. you're saying. I don't know how to describe it. Any, but, like but, legs to the side. Yeah, I, I've heard that. At any rate, that one's definitely harder to do. Mm. I think I would think so. Yeah, but I'm gonna uh, the everything that I've I've found online is like, hey, do this type. It's the the one leg forward, one leg back. Oh, so and you're gonna then do, you then you're... you eventually because the other one, mm. the problem is I think with the other one, my hips are so tight, Minor and too. opening that up would probably take a lot longer than you know maybe someday I'll make that maybe the goal of the following year. But you, you got, got the, that Theragun. Yeah, you, you can try it. Massage gun. Just, gun. just slowly. Yeah, yeah just oh, beat my sorry. legs. Yeah, the submission. I think you should do that. Yeah. I'm fine with any kind of split. Uh. Look, we'll see. We'll see what I can do. But so you can do you it with your arms. I'll eat a banana split at the end of the year. Can you do this, Shane? Can you do this, Shane? <sighs> yes, yeah, so you can. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Uh, yeah, Guys, I he did. just did. I just did it. Just uh, for the listeners, for he just T-posed. Yeah. Damien, goals 2020? I got a few goals. Mm -hmm. I want to get back into being physically fit. Um, okay. That used to be a big part of my life until I, I have like this hive condition that I've talked about here before but like it sucks when you work out and all of a sudden oh hives but huh. I've, I've started being healthier this year already and i'm down nine pounds which is like woo voice acting wise i want to add like the, when you record video games it's sort of on like a couple year cycle whether they're making like dlc and new content or it's just like that far in advance that they start working on it before it's released like you'll work on something for a few years so i want to add uh two games to my cycle of stuff that i just keep back working back on that's what i want uh -huh. and then otherwise but how do you how do you work towards that like how do you so that's your goal how do you work towards that taking just, more auditions I mean or? I take as many auditions as I can already just yeah. keep improving myself and playing what is popular and trying to figure out what kind of vibe they're going for based on what modern voice acting sounds like and going from there and, and just voice better just voice just have yeah. a better uh, throat sound voice gooder voice actually. voice gooder and then last thing is, uh, like, when I'm not here and I'm not doing voiceover stuff, I do I do a lot of Twitch streaming. So I this past year has been awesome. I started it during the Defy shutdown, but I feel like uh, growth-wise, it's kind of plateaued a little bit. So I would, like, I don't know. I, this is a big goal, but I want to see, like, the following double this year. Wow. I want to, like, not just make it this thing I do after work, but, like, focus more time into it. Like, how can I plan events? How can I, you know, have specific things to go for? I'm a very casual person when it comes to stuff like that, but it's yeah. like, what would it be like if I sat down and really like mm. planned stuff out? So it's not necessarily more sp spending more time streaming, but spending it w w like wiser, like like like, yeah. like making making a, a a bigger thing out of the time that you do spend streaming. Yes, which I think makes sense because totally. to me, as an outsider that doesn't really watch streamer, like I I understand streaming, mm -hmm. I get why people watch it, but for me. 
I don't know. I don't really want to just watch somebody just sit there and play a game. Right. But if but if you were to you know eventize it, have it be more interactive, like that's something that I could definitely watch watch yeah more the interaction thing is already something that is like pretty mm-hmm. like i spend most of the time just talking to yeah. people while yeah. i happen to be playing a game but it's like how do i that's sort of the point there is a disconnect between the game and the interaction how do i marry those two things or yeah. you know how can i have the interaction not just be like answering questions but like what is today's topic or just something just like planning it out finding how i'm different like, yeah it's it's something that is specifically mine mm-hmm. so what do i do with it yeah, you know, no, I think that makes sense, cool. and you're in complete control of it, so yeah. it's it's pretty fun to be able to just be like, oh, I can do whatever. On the physically fit uh, tit, uh, <laughs> physically fit tit. On the physically fit tit, uh, I think I'm gonna I want to do a like a Spartan race or something this mm. year. Mm-hmm. So whoever wants to join, I don't know, man. Yeah, we can do it. What if we got one of those like red like radio flyer wagons and you pull me behind you Mm-mm. while I eat peeled um, grapes? I don't know, man. No. If you're already if you're already getting physically fit, yeah, it sounds like I think I think it's fit. in like May. It sounds like I've earned a treat. Um, Looks like sounds like we're gonna do a Spartan race. So you've already so you've already done this research, Shane. Yeah. So there's I think, a Spartan, I think, there's I think a Spartan should, race in May. In May, and I think we should all do it. My knee hurts. I think we should all do it. Kevin, would you be down to do it? Of so course Kevin, Kevin would. Look Kevin, at him. Kevin oh, could do it. Uh, oh, we could definitely film it. Ian, would you want to do it? Yeah, sure. Are I think you I gonna, talked to you, Courtney. Yeah. Courtney wants to do it. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's We got time. Like, There's a yeah, lot of time sure. to train. We're live on camera in a place where I <laughs> can't really say no. Yeah, man. <laughs> let's all great. do That's, a Spartan you've got, you've got four months. But I, aerobic stuff is hard. You could, that would take you. You could. You could be. Tr- you could definitely do a Spartan race today. I guarantee you, you could do it. Is anyone else here winded after using the restroom? <laughs> no. Then you don't know my life. Look, man. Just saying. Like it's far enough away that if we didn't do it, people would forget. I'm just saying. It'd be dope. <laughs> it'd be dope. We would all feel great. You're getting. You're saying, hey, you're you want you, you pitched this to me as a tough mutter originally, which uh, is way so different. So tough than mutter, I guess. No, they're like the same thing. The what? same thing. Tarf, uh, and, tough mutter was no, easier. I heard no, tough mutter was harder. Uh, Spartan race is actually. Really? They're, they're the same. Pretty much. Oh. Yeah, it's the same exact thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What did you think a Spartan race was? I thought Tough Mudder was basically like, oh, now you got to slip in some mud while we yell at you. And and tough and Spartan race was literally just like a, a 24 kilometer race while while people have a like a phalanx in front of you trying to block you through a small. Mm-hmm. Yes. Through tonight. No, I think they were a loincloth. If I'm if I'm correct, to. I think the Spartan race is like it's like. It's a 10k, or so it's like six. It can be like six miles. Yeah, they have 5k, 10k uh, increases from there. But yeah, dude, if we did like a six mile with a bunch of obstacles in it, we could definitely do that. Six miles, that's it. But there's a lot of obstacles. And the obstacles are tough. Yeah, I, I, I'll avoid the obstacles. I'll just I'll just run it. <laughs> what kind of obstacles are we talking? It's about? it's obstacles where you have to help each other. So like there's a wall where like you can only get up it by other people like help pull you up on top of the wall, and then you have to turn back and help people like get up the I'm wall. I'm definitely and, good at boosting, but you, can y'all pull up a 200 pound? We man? have several like several of us. You won't be 200 pounds. By yeah, then. man. That's true. By May. By May. You could be in. We could be in like Spartan what shape. What if I'm 300 pounds of muscle? Of muscle, then then, then you yeah. could just hop over that wall with just just your leg strength. I, Damien, like, look, we could definitely by May. Mm-hmm. The Spartan race could be easy for mm-hmm. us. Yeah, we could be. We could become. Are we gonna become Avengers, guys? Like, guys, let's we be become, Spartans. Should we be? Should we Kamel Nanjiani ourselves, dude? Kamel Nanjiani, good. For, what a career. Yeah. What mm-hmm. a career. Mm-hmm. What a what a topic shift. What a career Kamel Nanjiani's had. <laughs> Look, I'm doing the Spartan race in May. Hey, look, Shane, we're past that. Kamel <laughs> Nanjiani, shout out to you. Portlandia, Bob's Burgers, and now fitness? You're just going to forget Silicon Valley? Okay. So anyway, Spartan race, should be, uh, Spartan race should be real fun. Um, yeah, I'm excited I've done for one. it. Is, is Spartan race, oops. Whose gosh dang phone is on? Whose gosh is, dang is Spartan Race, uh, is that the one with the, the live taser wires? No, that's, that's, that's tough mutter. That's tough mutter. And I was okay. looking forward to that. <laughs> It's literally the same. You were down for Tough Mudder, which is the exact same thing. Yeah, but it sounds scarier when it's Spartan. Because <laughs> they're not around anymore. What got the Spartans gone? Well, they made a documentary about it. It was called 300. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's a great documentary. We figured out what happened to them. Mm. Um, and then 302, L- Rise of the Lycans. It, no, what? Rise of the Boogaloo. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about Underworld. Mm-hmm. Got mm-hmm. it. That was the joke. What? Um... <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm, real excited. Deep I'm excited. I'm excited for us all to do the Spartan race. Yeah, let's all do um, it. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, let's all do it. 
Wow, what are my goals? Wow, thank you guys. Thank hey, you so Ian, much for what asking. are your goals? You oh, ask um, the question. Yeah, you're the boss. Whenever I try to take control and be like, let's go on to this topic, people are like, Damien, that, you, learn your place, you idiot. And then I do. And then we hit you. And you hit yeah. me with rocks. Just over and over. Rocks, rocks on my arm. You. Sometimes you deserve So, Ian, what are rough. your goals? Ian, oh, what's your geez. goal? <clears throat> um, you have to think about it? You really wanted us to ask you. I was interested. Sex less. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's not possible, my dude. <laughs> no, if you go into the negatives, that means you just take it away from other people. Oh. So you just keep knocking on vans that are rocking. Oh, you just like go. keep. Um, you who. Yeah. Toodaloots. Please have don't. You ever, have you ever like walked in on. Have you ever like just like happened by like a random couple having sex before i walked in i on can't a, say i have oh i walked in on a, a roommate once who was just like clearly like they were somewhere in the process but they had like heard the door open uh. and so they it was like fine but it was just like oh hey and they're like hey i'm like i'm gonna go and they're like no it's fine come in i'm what? like don't that's cool <laughs> They were like, well, we're just taking a nap. I'm like, no, you're not. And that's okay. You know what would be, you know be so funny if like, because they were just polite, be like, no, come in. If you're just like, yeah, okay, yeah. And then you just like go and like sit on the bed. Oh, so like, how are you guys that. doing? People do that. You would not believe the day I've had. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. What are your goals? Um, <laughs> my goals. Um, <clears throat> find love. Mm. Is, are you, for real? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I think, uh, you know. I'm not saying I'm not saying like you know I will find somebody mm -hmm. this year, but I'm making I'm making the the effort. I'm going on dates and nice. stuff. Yeah, that's great. I think you know who knows if I'll find anyone, but at least in all these dates I've been going on, I'm like figuring out you know things about people, figuring out what things I like about people, what things I don't like about people. Because mm -hmm. if you don't actually get out there and like meet people, mm -hmm. you don't really know what you do or don't like about somebody. And you yeah. start to spot things like, ooh, I don't like that. Ooh, uh, not a fan of that. Do you mean just like personality traits or like the way someone reacts to something? Like or how like, they smell. Like, yeah, like how they smell. <laughs> well, like, what smells if it was like a, a real stinky, sure. stinky girlfriend? Yeah, <sighs> yeah, if somebody doesn't smell good, I'm probably not gonna be down for that. Mm, shallow. Well. Some people it's nice though. <laughs> what? <laughs> some, I don't know. So, some bad smells and an acquired smell. Mm. Oh, probably. Uh, it's like, oh, she smells bad. No, she doesn't. Oh, so when cheese does <laughs> it, it's was better quality me. cheese. Mm, yeah. yeah. See, exactly, some people are like cheese. See, girls are like a fine cheese, you see. <laughs> yeah. How often do you guys think about your socks? If you're like how I used to be, not much. But I recently discovered socks that change the way I'll think about socks forever. They're called Bombas. From Latin, it's derived from the word for bumblebee. Like bees, small changes add up to make something greater than itself. And that's why they call them Bombas. These socks are pretty darn cool. First of all, they're focused on quality, they're focused on style, but the main thing that makes me think they're pretty awesome is that they have a one-to-one -one purchase to donation system. So you purchase a sock, they donate a sock to someone in need. These socks are so gosh dang comfy, I can't tell you how nice it is to have socks that are not only comfortable, but honestly look pretty cool. Bombas are the most comfortable socks in the history History of feet. They are made from super soft natural cotton and every pair comes with arch support, a seamless toe, and a cushioned footbed that's comfy but not too thick. Buy your Bombas at bombas.com slash smosh today and get 20% off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash smosh for 20% off bombas.com slash smosh. Um, I feel like, Ian, you go on a, I feel like every day you're going on another day. Yeah, you go on a lot a week. I'm afraid that one of my dates is going to watch this podcast and be like, what the f***? Like, I swear, I swear, no. there's been a week where you've gone on five dates. And just to be clear, I'm not you're having, not, no, I'm you're not, not having sex you're with not all going these people. It's always like yeah. a very casual, like, you're, you're just going Literally and like meeting, meeting up someone. and yeah. talking yeah. to someone. But I yeah. feel like yeah. you do it so much. I don't know how you even manage to find that many dates. Yeah, honestly, if you live um, in the LA area, it is very possible you've been on a date with Ian e. Cox. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very possible. I'm just... You know, I'm just a catch, my dude. No, no. I mean, because it's it's weird, man. Like when when you use when you use the apps, like it's it's really strange. Like there won't be like sort of like any response, and then all of a sudden it'll be like five people have been like, "Hey," and you're like, "Oh, uh, but I'm talking to this person too." Uh, oh crap! Mm. I mean, Saturday Saturday night went on a date. Sunday Whoa. brunch Whoa. date. Sunday night. Date. You went on what? two you, dates you, in one. That's you, three. But no, you went on two dates in one day. Yes. Oh. I, that's that's a lot. What happens if the brunch date goes so well that you continue to hang out with that? And person? I'll cancel. There <sighs> one. Whoa. Damn, man. Like that's I don't. Crazy. I can't. 
It's not a bad thing. I'm just like, I mean, good for you. Are I you, couldn't do you're, it. You're, a, you're, a, you're an extrovert. Well. Because, <sighs> like, making more than one plan in a day is like, I'm like, <laughs> nuh-uh, yeah. nuh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. Well, I think, yeah, I mean, I've, I've found that, like, and this might have been something I uncovered in therapy. Huh. Hey, um, awesome. That I like having things to, like, look forward to. So if I don't, mm-hmm. if I... You know, sometimes I feel like I used to like really relish in not having anything to do for like a whole day. And now I'm becoming like less and less comfortable with that. Like I, I like to have something to look forward to. And also like meeting like a new person is kind of like an exciting thing for me. It's not really that scary. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, I get to find out about this sort of human being. And in L.A., you meet so many different types of people from mm-hmm. different yeah. backgrounds, different cultures. So that's been that's been very exciting. I guess uh, also for, for you like sorry to cut you off, but uh you were also in a relationship, different relationships, but you were a person who was in a relationship for most of your life before this phase you're in now. True. Cuz I feel oh, like you were essentially for like a decade or more <laughs> You were you were in a committed relationship, so you yeah, I was in a re- I was in a relationship for six and a half years. Wow! And then you were only single for like less than a year after that, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I was single and I was kind of dating around. That was a little bit of my, uh, as we referred to as the Hoenn phase. The, um, the what? Where I was uh, the, the Hoenn region of Pokemon? I think that's yes, Gen three. Yes, Hoenn phase. Um, okay, a little bit of the Hoenn phase. I feel like, and this is terrible advice to give to people. This is terrible. I'm just gonna say. I'm just gonna put it out there right now. This is terrible advice. If you're an adult and you and you've reached maybe the age of thirty and you haven't had a hoeing phase, and this is terrible advice, and maybe this is just you don't have to follow this. But uh, if you haven't had a hoeing phase, that's weird. Both of y'all turn off your phones Sorry. and your computers. Just blowing, blowing I mean, come up. On. It's like that, Kevin. Look at Kevin. He's crying. Having to sorry, edit uh, sorry, and I'm, I'm not getting saying texts from all over the place. So one of our one of our friends that uh, that we uh, know, um, they dated somebody for a long, 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 long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was not a great relationship, and they didn't really know what a healthy relationship was, and they didn't know like what they're into, and so they, as they put it, threw their dick to the city. Oh, yeah, chop off your wiener and throw it in a river. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're going to cut all this stuff out because this is terrible advice. <laughs> um, but I think, I think you know, when you are meeting a lot of different people, like, it's 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 more than just, like, oh, you like Pokemon, I like Pokemon. Like, there's also has to be other chemistry that, that you got to align on. So you're saying you had that phase in between your two long relationships, so you got that out of the way. Correct. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. I feel like and, – and I – and you know you kind of figure out i hope more about yourself and what you're into for me like i can't i can't be intimate with somebody that i'm not emotionally connected to i feel that yeah so, I'm, oh yeah i'm the same way so yeah i did i did like two like one night stands i was like this is terrible mm-hmm. yeah and yeah. <laughs> so it was like i figured that out very quickly and how unfulfilling that was mm-hmm. but i wouldn't have known that if i didn't go into my hoeing phase that's true and now i got the hoeing phase out of the way so now i'm not i'm not like desperate for like you know I i'm think, not i'm not like trying i'm not like scouring the dating apps to for hookups i think what's tough is everyone's what everyone's love life is so unique to them sure that's yeah. exactly what i was going to say whatever uh, you you say it's terrible advice and maybe it is for everyone uh-huh. but to translate sort of whatever the hoeing phase means to you for you it was like that specific way like maybe let's try a couple of one night stands but if whatever you're into is like you know i just want to meet a bunch of different people and go on a bunch of dates that could be someone's version of a hoeing phase mm-hmm. sex yeah. or no sex yeah, whatever sure, sure. but like there should be a time in your life when you feel free to explore. Yeah. Maybe that's what sort yeah. of is. Or, or, and yeah. a phase to, to challenge yourself, right? If you're someone who's, mm-hmm. if you're someone who's ter- terrified of meeting new people, uh, then it's like, okay, here you are, you're single, you're, you're free. Like, go do that. Yeah. Do that. T- take those risks, scare yourself. Or if you're someone who dates a lot because that's comfortable for you, mm-hmm. try then going a month or two without doing that give, ah, get, date because a lot of people phase. don't date themselves they mm. don't learn anything so they know a lot about other people yep. they don't know mm. anything about themselves it's like okay go do that now like yeah. uh, you know I uh, people uh, there's people I know that that every day they have to be hanging out with other people or mm. and I know people who spend most of their time alone and I think it's very important Ooh. to challenge yourself and to to take those moments to go okay I need to push my my boundaries a little bit yeah and I think I think also kind of on that on that note people that are 
you know, going through something, they're they're unhappy with themselves. That's the worst possible time to be trying to find somebody else because that's not you're not in right. the right mental state. Of course, if you can't. You're if you covering can't be, up a symptom without actually yeah, dealing exactly. with the issue. Yeah, yeah, and then you bring that unhappiness into a relationship, mm-hmm. and then you try to use that person to make you happy, right. and it's like no, 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 no. Yeah. There's also yeah, depending on the the type of breakup you just went through, like you might be in a phase where like you're still that trust isn't there for other people, mm-hmm. or you're just not yeah. comfortable, like. You know, it's yeah. okay. It was interesting because after my last like long relationship, when I when we had that breakup, that's when I had my like own version of just like I want to get out there and date. Like, uh, you know what? This this girl from you know back in the day, I thought she was cute. I'm just gonna ask her out willy nilly out of the blue, and I did mm-hmm. that like a few times. And then once I sort of cycled through that, that's when I was like, now it's time to deal with the loneliness. So I like uh-huh. I had that moment of like, let's slap a little band aid on this break up, no break up doesn't matter. And then then it was like, yeah, it's like too. For, I think for it's I think it's very much for dudes. Maybe I'm wrong, but but I feel like dudes. for for dudes <laughs> like us, those first Can you just two- say men. There's dudes is just all right. Sorry, all right. you can just say for bros like we. For bros like we. Okay, bros uh, like we. Bros like it, we. Like for those those first two or three months, you're kind of like, you know what? Cool. Like I'm living my life. But I don't give That's a crap. Exactly. And right. then it's like it's like that two or three month mark. It's three after months yeah. where it's like, uh-huh. oh, like it hits, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's not the crying one. It's not the like you're super bummed. It's just kind of like this. Uh. Ah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like this. It's almost like a numbness where it just sort of sets in, and you're like, oh, yeah. This is reality now, yeah. And obviously, maybe this is just the 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 hetero cis white male experience, but <laughs> but that does seem to be a very common thing where where in in a relationship, and obviously this doesn't apply for everyone, but but it does seem kind of common where you know, girl and guy break up, girl cries, like goes through it all immediately, and then gets better. Guys, like, oh, everything's chill. I'm cool. Like, whatever. Just because we broke up doesn't mean I didn't learn anything. What yeah. a cool relationship. And then, <laughs> and then, and then, yeah, two, three months later, it's like, oh god, yeah. I'm all alone and nothing. Ah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's also that's the that's the timeline where you don't really get to like. I mean, honestly, you don't get to be a victim anymore. Yeah, like you're not like oh, I'm going through a breakup. It's really sad. It's kind of like all right. I've got to be over it. Everyone's, mm. I can't really like dwell on it anymore. Mm-hmm. I got to move on and yeah. I'm alone. And my life is very different than what it was three months ago. Yeah. 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 I was definitely not in any rush to get into anything after, after the last, uh, relationship. Mm-hmm. And I didn't even try until maybe like eight months. Mm. Maybe it's sort of like, um, you know, grief, there's the five stages. And I think that's for loss of any kind, whether it's death or a loss of relationship, loss of comfort, home, whatever. But, you know, usually it starts with denial. So yeah. maybe that is, you know, Possible. you're not being like, no, it's not over. But it's a different form of denial where you're like, yeah, actually, everything is chill. I really am doing great. Mm-hmm. And then it's the the bargaining phase when you are asking out other women and are like, hey, yeah, let's just, you know, I'm time to figure something else out. That's fine. And then it's, uh, what is it? Anger, weird depression acceptance. I don't know if I ever had the anger, whatever, you know. Yeah. You get yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. No, for sure. And I, and I think it's also guys or bros like we, we're not, we're not a, like allowed to talk everything out with, with other bros like we. It's true. It's not, it's not as normally accepted. Right. Or, you know, we feel a little more reserved in talking about our feelings to each other. I feel like that's either, okay, either I just live in a a bubble where a lot of people are just more open emotionally and that is possible, or I feel like that's changing. I feel like it's the kind of thing where like, you know, Jeff, it was pointed out to me recently, like Jeffree Star made a video where he's like, no one's talking about mental health. And it's like, everybody's talking about mental health now. It's the same thing where it's like, it's not accepted amongst bros. I'm like, kind of maybe it is now, like, or maybe that's just my friends. But I feel like if I talk about feelings, everyone's kind of fine with it. I think LA mm, is different. I think that's one of those things. Because when I go back to Arizona or Colorado, the vibe is very different. Is it? It's very different. LA is a bubble. I mean, it it is. And, and, you know, there's just, there's different types of bubbles all over the US, but I think for the most part still. Mm. Yeah. And even, even guys who are comfortable, it's still, it's still different. You know, I think back on like, when I talk to, to other guys, it's still this very like, 
man type way of talking about things, mm-hmm. right? right? Where like, it's like you it's don't like, want to sound like you're complaining. Where it's, you're not you're not really fully venting. You're not saying what's what you're fully feeling. Mm. You're trying to funnel them into a into a like, yeah, man, I've been feeling really down, and and you're still tr- you're trying to be professional about your feelings. Oh crap, that is me too. Yeah, huh? yeah. So you're oh, not. Whereas man, you're not right. really letting out the truth. You're not really letting out like. I feel Fucking hate the world, and I this all sucks, which is what's going on inside. Mm-hmm. You go, you funnel that into, yeah, you know, I just I'm I'm working through it, and oh, I'm you're really just literally quoting trying, me now. Which, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're like, right. You know, it's it's really like you know, uh, yeah, you know, we're both people, and we're trying to like yeah. you know, <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, you got me. So it's still it's still it's still there. <laughs> this is the make Damien uncomfortable podcast. You are no, you are, you are I, talking you are talking about facts, but you're not being emotionally. Yeah. Yeah, fully. Yeah, and my version of being emotional about it is just being like, yeah, I mean, I won't lie, it sucks, but you know, and exactly. then I mm-hmm. cap it off with that's, something but that's else. Still, yeah, wow, bros but that's like we. Wow. Yeah, bros like we, man. Bros like we. That's the new name of the podcast. Bros like we. Bros like we. <laughs> yeah, but we're just playing we while we talk about this stuff. Okay, and we're like bros we like we. So Ian, find love is one of your goals. Yeah, find love. That's a goal. Yeah, that was a, I, I that mean, was a like, tangent. That and I was, was thinking, and I was thinking about, it, I was like, okay, yeah, because you have a goal, and you're always kind of like actively working towards that goal, and that is something that I that I have been doing. Uh, also went on a date this morning, uh, Monday. <laughs> this morning, I'm on a date right uh, now. I went on a date this Monday. Is Cynthia. So, so I did, I did, yeah, I did. <laughs> I did Saturday, two Sunday, one Monday, and I'm and I'm going on a second date. To tonight. So so okay. I said you go on like five dates a week, and that was pr- not always. But I'm, do you have any more dates planned for this week besides that? Well, do you have six dates planned n- in a, in within seven days? No, because I'm going to Iceland. <gasps> oh, Ian, tell us about travel. So that's, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So um, so yeah, that's another goal of mine. <laughs> Good segue. Make uh, it to Iceland. Tra- travel, yeah. Uh-huh. Very uh-huh. kind of you to plan it for a sketch week. Yeah. So that we get to just have to do more work. So when this podcast comes out, you're, yeah. you're technically in Iceland currently. Oh, oh. that's cool. Ooh. Well, don't come looking for me, Icelanders. You won't find me. <laughs> uh, Iceland. Uh, Icelanders, if you're looking for love, there's That's someone true. there looking for love. Oh, mm, e- Ethan, nope. find an Icelandic waifu. Um, Date Bjork. Let's see. Benefits of living in Iceland. Free power or cheap power. It gets dark real early sometimes. Mm-hmm. The and sometimes it stays light for a long time. That's true. Yeah, it's very safe. Yeah, there's no apex predators. No apex predators. Um, you get to see the aurora borealis sometimes. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, sometimes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you're a good boy. There's fjords, and that's an extra J in a word that you generally don't need, and that's cool. That's They're, true, but they have that elsewhere too. Mm, yeah, they have that Elsa where because uh, Nordic names. Us, please, please. So God, Iceland, cut that out. I'm I'm excited. I feel like I'm the last person on Instagram to go to Iceland. I've never been. Um, I've never been to Iceland. Yeah, I've never been. Okay, all right, all right. It's it's interesting though, because like I feel I feel like that like 2019 was the first year where now there's been and there's been this environmental guilt that's been placed on people that travel, mm. like because you know air travel is extremely polluting now you you have like you have like um like the royal family that used to always like they would go on like these all these like visits and everyone's now like oh you're getting in your private plane and polluting going all over like i feel like there's a lot of people i almost went trump there for a second. you did i don't buy into that to be honest with you Like, I believe pollution happens, but I feel like in so many areas, the onus is placed on the average everyday consumer. And it's done by the people who are major, major manufacturers or in pollute all over the place. Like they're they're these huge companies and these bigger sort of just entities that Mm -hmm. pollute in a very terrible way, but they sort of get away with it by looking at the consumer and be like, hey, have you considered using a different kind of straw? hey, have you considered taking the bus? It's not that you can't do those specific things like carpool, like take the bus or bike to work and use different straws and all that stuff. But when it comes to something like air travel, what else are you going to do? You know, it's private planes. Yes, 
don't do that. But if you've got like hundreds of people on a flight carpooling basically to a yeah. across the seas location, well, that's the best possible scenario. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of how they talk about how we people get shamed for like it's like uh, use the shower less. It's like if every single individual in California used their shower yeah. for the the amount they're saying, it would not really unfortunately impact that much because agriculture wise, like Almond that's farmers, where it's like ninety yeah. percent. It's yep. same, like they say mm-hmm. like. There's like five companies that are pollu- like ca- causing eighty percent of the pollution. Yeah, see, like, I didn't even know that. And it's that's like what I was talking it's about. like yeah. yeah, we can yeah. stop it all, but the factories, the manufacturing aspect of the world is yeah. chugging along. Mm-hmm. And, and obviously, the the argument for that is like because they're talking about like American companies like getting them regulated, and everyone's like, but what about China? Yeah. Oh, Let's sorry, see. I had burp. They're like, what about China and and this place and this place? So it's like, yeah. We need regulation, like we need strong regulation on everyone because mm-hmm. because there are other countries that are polluting more right. and that are dumping a lot more waste in the ocean that's contributing to the problem in the oceans. And obviously it's not an excuse. It's not a reason to go, well, no. I don't need to stop. I, I, don't, I don't need to stop no. doing Do everything you can, like, but it's yeah. like, it doesn't mean you can't fly to another country. You don't right. have another option. You can't right. take a boat trip in a canoe across the ocean because it's safe. I mean, Greta Thunberg, Thunberg, yes, like, great, awesome. But like, not everybody can do that it, all yeah. the time. Yeah. It's also... Um, she took a boat trip across the ocean she to only, not fly? She only, she does everything she can to not pollute in Okay, but boats, sense. boats, like... If you have a job, you can't. You, it takes too long. Like, like ships, I mean, large ships pollute heavily. She, but I think she takes like literally like wooden. Like, it was I, literally I like a like, paddle paddle boat situation <laughs> with like a little rotor thing. I don't know. Until there's okay. like a safe way to do that. Like she is awesome. This is not. Sure. This has nothing to do with her. I'm just yeah. saying like day to day. There are little things yep. you can do, and then there's some things that are a little bit non negotiable. Well, it's, yeah, it's also when people when we we can call out people for so much stuff, but it's actually the problem is the foundation of being a human being right now is is placed upon bad stuff right mm-hmm. like okay if you want to stop being uh, contributing to bad things you need to stop using a smartphone because the way they're manufactured mm-hmm. the pe- the labor sure, and everything sure. most of your clothes probably mm-hmm. uh and if you any- want to have something sustainable like food or clothes or whatever it's so expensive because yeah. someone had to yeah. like whittle it by hand and and going vegan sure that's one thing but also probably most of the, the other food that you're eating is also like contributing to bad to pollution. Yeah, I and mean, to a lot going of bad. vegan isn't gonna isn't gonna save the environment tomorrow. Yeah, like but there's also there's just so yeah. many things that are using like you know there's petroleum petroleum's used in a million things besides cars. Like it's mm-hmm. it's you it can't sucks. you can't really exist in the in the modern it's day impossible. without it. And yeah. if you do, our existence is unnatural at this point too. We are a, we are a blight <laughs> on the earth, and no matter what we do, we're always. Go- I'm seriously, we are always going to be a blight on the and earth. Speaking so you of mitigate blight, that as best you can. And speaking but, of blight on the earth and the environment, uh, I almost freaking forgot. Oh uh, yes, guys, <laughs> we have been wearing these shirts that say um, it's Smosh Australia. We uh, we are going to Australia. <laughs> in uh, March and we're going to uh, an event called Supernova it's it's kind of like a comic con of Australia I think we're doing two two different dates we're going to do kind of like a little try not to live uh, try not to try not to try laugh. not to live uh, <laughs> try not to live <laughs> oh. um, live show uh, two places in Australia uh, but we are also selling these small Australia shirts uh, 100% of the proceeds go to the Red Cross in Australia uh, helping oh, yeah. towards those terrible, terrible fires. Mm-hmm. Uh, we love, we love Australia. We love all our Australia peeps, mm-hmm. and we like, and we love Australian animals. We do, um, and I want to see them alive and too. happy. So let's let's all let's all help Australia. Mm-hmm. Love y'all. Love y'all. Love your accents. Love your deadly animals. What are your guys' favorite? What's your guys' favorite? Australian. We, we obviously all have the same one. Let's say it on three. One, two, two three. The Kaiba. Oh. I knew someone was going to say Quaka. Okay. But what did you say? A keeper. A keeper. What's that? You never heard of a keeper? A keeper, the fish? Keepers? The, no, a keeper. Oh, you got to be careful if you see a keeper. Yeah? They're right angry all the time. And they, if you look them dead in the eyes for, for over three seconds... You get diarrhea. You're thinking of a gorgon. No, it's, it's a, a keeper. Go- keeper? A keeper. It's got fins, but it's on the land. Whoa. Mm-hmm. And it's very conservative. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
What is happening? <laughs> oh yeah, everyone in uh, who's li- who lives in Australia, definitely in the video version of this, comment down below about how you know your experiences with a kippa. Is it like is a, is a, is a, like a, is is a, like a drop, drop bear? bear? No, yeah. it's it's real. It's a drop bear situation. It's real. No, uh, drop bears put, are very real. What's your favorite kippa facts down below? Shane, are you aware of drop bears? You got yes, be I'm aware of drop bears. Yeah, you got to watch right. out for drop but, bears. But a, but a kippa. Way worse. Okay. okay. Way worse. Well, oh my God. You don't even want to deal with it. Here's an honest question. How are you supposed to know what to do with your money? Very few of us are exposed to meaningful advice on how to manage our finances, and even fewer of us have the means to get professional financial guidance. Betterment is a platform that was built to do something radical, to give accessible financial advice that puts you first. Now, if you're like most Americans, your money is probably sitting in a savings account, likely earning you next to nothing. Maybe you have an investment account that you're not really sure what to do with. Betterment can help you make sense of what to do with your money. Investing involves risk, but you don't have to know the ins and outs of the stock market to start saving more and start investing in your future. Betterment can help you make sense of what to do with your money. Investing involves risk, but you don't have to know the ins and outs of the stock market to start saving more or start investing for your future. Betterment's technology will put your money to work, choosing the stocks and strategies that are right for you, because we know you have other things to do. Betterment's platform can even provide guidance on what financial goals make sense for you. Give your money a new home with Betterment, peace of mind included. Download the Betterment app today. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-M-E-N-T for the betterment of you. And you said cassowary. Yeah, because it's a it's a bird, but it's got a big old bottom, and I just want to use it like a pillow. And it also looks like prehistoric, which I think is pretty rad. It would be a cassowary or an echidna or a platypus. Mm. Or, or, native or like Australia. a kookaburra. Yeah, they're in the yeah. billabong. Oh. Um, yeah, or like, a, or like a kookaburra or like a wallaby. Okay. Or like that red-backed spider. They got, or, they got so many like they got cool a lot animals. Of crazy like, stuff. Yeah. Like shit just went crazy in Australia. Like, Love while, it. While like other animals were like, you know, being like basic as fuck on the other continents. I mean, Africa is doing pretty good. They're pretty dope. Yeah, they had like a horse that got a really long neck. Big whoop. I like Munt Jack Deer <laughs> with the big old teeth. Sorry. Okay, yeah. But yeah, um, y- yours is a quaka. Yeah. I better know why. Because they're the cutest fucking little rodents ever. Because they give big old smiles yeah. for the camera. They, they're not, they're like, they live on this island that has no predators, so they're not afraid of humans. And they're, they're a rodent, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're the largest rodent, right? No, no, no that's, that's a that's capybara. A capybara. Everybody knows capybara. that. Capybara. Um, a capybara. Uh, but quakas, so they're not afraid of humans, and you can just like walk right up to them. And they have like a smile, like they mm-hmm. look like they're like smiling. And they're kind of like chubby and they're furry. And you can just walk up and take a selfie with them. They're just like, hey. Um, do you know why they call them capybaras? <sighs> why, Shane? Because if you hand it a book, it goes, oh, can I keep a borrow it? Oh. Are you, are you, son, are you okay? Yeah, I'm a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> I want to yes oh and God. you so bad, but I'm just not sure where the context is. And there's I don't know none, how to do there's this. There's none. There's none. Buy the Small Australia shirt. Yes. In stores now. Uh, all the info is down below for the Small Australia shirt and okay. the, no. and the Supernova tour. Um, very excited to go back to Australia. I Wee. like that place. I've I never like been. It. Never been. I've never been anywhere. You know, <laughs> speaking of which, oh, if we're going to be putting each other on the spot on this mm-hmm. year's Smoshcast, Shane, we have been talking about planning a mm-hmm. Germany trip mm-hmm. for oh. half a year now. And every yeah, time I say, true. let's meet up this weekend, you're like, yeah, definitely. We'll definitely do that. Then I hear nothing. Okay, that's that's on both of us, because then we both don't text each I'm gonna other. I'm going to say it's 60-40. Where are you guys going to go? <laughs> you going to go to Dusseldorf? I mean, probably. I don't know. Maybe Stuttgart? I don't know. Yeah, with our Maybe. Eastern European accents, I guess. See, well, whenever I bring is, it up this to This is to Eastern someone... Germany, you know. Oh. I don't know if Stuttgart's um, in, yeah, but Dusseldorf uh, is. Should we go? I, I'm almost wondering if we just go ham and we do Oktoberfest. Because I... I've heard it's worth it. I've heard it's worth it. It sounds awesome, but I, I thought we were going to travel like mid-year, like closer to summertime, because that's a time where we don't have much for Smosh, and October is usually smack in the middle of sketch time uh, that we're batching before mm, holiday. No, I mean, that's more November. Ian's, really? Ian's literally going to Iceland during a sketch shoot. Yep. But he's the boss. He can do. Damn he could straight. spit also, on me, and we'd have to say, good job, sir. But if Damn we planned straight, it don't now, forget it. then they then they planned yeah. it far enough advance. Yeah. And he, we have I the president know. saying, hey, you could yep. do it. So he's saying- well, Then what am I supposed to do in May? Go to Japan again by myself? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I come? No. See, that's the problem. Now we've got tagalongs. 
No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, man. Of um, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Well, what if Shane and I go, you go as well, but you go on your solo thing? Good luck translating. <laughs> oh, f- he's got me there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you just yeah. you just talk in a German accent. They understand. If you drink enough, Peter Zane, bitches. If you drink enough beer, you can understand. Yeah, everything. yeah. See, I did it. Yeah, I'm mm. speaking German now. You sure are, Deutschland. You, you did it. If you, just, mm. if you just do the accent, they love that. Pasha. They love that. That's they think it's so funny. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Any country you go to, if you just try to do their accent, if you just try to do an accent, they love it. I get. It, it's so it's so bad. Like um, the the two times that I've been in England, I start making I start just like imitating the accent like not in front of people but like offhandedly to like friends like while I'm there I'm like probably shouldn't do that you're that jerk that gets back after like four days and is like oh I'm sorry where's the loo oh I'm, I'm so sorry uh, I've just been I was spending in time England. in England in England heard of it yes sorry yeah. I'm just one of those people that you know, I just like pick up on the accent, like you know, um, just very. What do you think I'm looking for the. After? I'm looking for the water closet. Oh, I'm sorry. Where's the? Loo? I spent a day in sorry. Toronto. Sorry. I was in England. Mm. I meant uh, bathroom go go machine. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, where's the shitter? Sorry, I was just in I was Arizona. Alabama. <laughs> sorry, where's the <laughs> gobbler? I am I'm afraid I was in America, as they call it. <laughs> The go go poo boo suck machine. The doo doo go go poo boo suck machine. Oh no, that's uh, that's the International Space Station. <laughs> oh, that's right. Because that literally sucks your poop. Yeah. yeah. It, what if it was like Flintstone style, and there was just like an animal that had to like <gasps> like next to the station is just like, eh, it's a living, you know? Like, and you do. think you have a shit yeah, job? You think you got a <laughs> <shit> job? <laughs> oh, uh, how do they deal with diarrhea in space? Speaking of diarrhea, I feel like it'd be easier. You gotta go. How oh, speaking doing? of diarrhea, like yeah. Um, oh, sh- I yeah. don't. Well, that, that video is it won't be out yet, but we can still talk about mm-hmm. it. Um, so, uh, yeah. so we did another um, spicy video on Smosh Games. It's for Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. so it's very romantic. Mm-hmm. Um, where some of the chocolates are very romantic heart chocolates, regular, and uh, some are chocolates with. Um, Carolina Reaper pepper. But here's the crazy thing about it. We've done spicy things before, uh-huh. and often we use ghost pepper. That yep. is a fine standard where everybody knows that's not to be messed with, and we can all appreciate that's a lot of spice. Yep. And so we were told it was spicy chocolates. So when when I ended up having one, I was like, oh, this is immediately hitting different. <laughs> yep. um, and I was like, this is crazy, because I cook with a little bit of ghost pepper sometimes. It's got great flavor. I'm used to spice. So afterwards, we were like, what is it? Like, how much did you use? And they were like, oh, some had ghost pepper, some had Carolina Reaper, and some had both. And I'm like, if we're going for Carolina Reaper, why wouldn't we say that in the video? I know. That's clickable. I know. We didn't, we didn't That's know a big deal. Going, going in. But we knew when it was coming out. Because uh, yeah. my booty screamed lava for so, days. So that's it's been about a week now since we've done it. And I don't think either of us are still shitting, right? I'm still a little rough. It was the kind of thing where like the first night when I kept trying to go back to sleep, yeah. um, I would like get back into bed and be like shivering, even mm. though it's not that cold. And even if I was laying on my stomach or my side, it would be like, oh, ta 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 ta. Like it was just ta 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 It was bad. That sucks. Yeah, I spit it out. Well, and and Maybe I made it, it and Smart I made it man. worse, Actually. and I made it worse because then I got uh, like a day or two later, I went out and got spicy margs Why? with with Courtney. So I had two uh, margaritas that had habanero peppers in them. You're just trying to just end mm-hmm. it, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think my body was like, "Whoa, oh, come on, my dude, I'm not even done with the last thing." Mm-hmm. So so it's been. It's been an interesting journey. I'm trying to I'm trying to get my shits right before I go to Iceland. Eat those probiotics, my guy. Because I don't you gotta, think there's you're a going lot to a cold place, so you can use some snow on your butt. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, just shove a bunch of snow. My concern there. is there's just not a lot of bathrooms uh, from from place to place. Is that a thing? It's just well, there's just not a lot in between towns. Oh. You know, just pick a fjord and go. Oh, you're right. Is yeah. that a Norway thing? Am I about to? Sound I'll just like an let idiot? I'll just let one loose in the blue lagoon. Uh, Make it a brown lagoon. Hey, <laughs> Ooh. speaking of poops, uh-huh. uh, you know we got our tour coming up, and we're <gasps> yeah. gonna be on a bus together. Yes, we uh, will. And, a, and a, there's already been established rule that yes. there's no pooping on the bus. Yes, but immediately there has been contention about yeah. that. Yeah, well, there's we, a we knew, little contention. Look, look, we knew. I knew f- this is one of the first things that I thought about on like going, knowing that I go on a tour with Damien 
and we know Damien likes to poop. And um, the number one rule of any tour is you don't poop on the tour bus. First of all, no, no, it's not. Yeah. You made that yes. up. That's thing <laughs> number. Thing number two. Talk to any musician. I would never. Um, Ian's best friend so with the Foo Fighters. Let's all let's all just Dave Grohl's rad. Um, let's all just acknowledge that the best restroom experience you ever have usually is when it's your own and you're in your comfort of your own yeah, home and you sure. don't have to worry. So that's always a nice experience. But the next best thing if you're traveling is like your own hotel room or something like that. So for the tour, for us, that's what the tour bus more or less is. It's mm. your own hotel room. Here we go. So we're going to be doing a bit. I can probably just say what we're doing. We're, you know, how Ian and I like rate foods, like how we did the uh, in and out and the 31 Baskin Robbins. We're going to do that with like local specialties, find out like what the city is known for or whatever. So basically the Dante's Inferno style punishment they've concocted for me is you're going to have five new kinds of food that you've never had before. We're going to stif- stuff you chock full of it. And then you don't get to go poop on a tour bus where there's a perfectly good toilet and you could immediately flush and no one would have you ever pooped wiser. on a bus before? It's not perfect. I've done it. It's not um, great. I have pooped at a bus, good sir. And so, <laughs> and so, like, squashed your butt against a and, greyhound and just. I've done as it. it. As it was moving, so just leave a streak. <laughs> hey, it takes skill, and I have done it. But people are like, we could pull over at a McDonald's at any time. I'm like, oh, yeah, let's go into a rural fast food location where it's only like truck stops. And it's only McDonald's poops. I it's guarantee only Mc- you that's going to be better. I, it's not. It's really not. Uh, I will light a match. I will immediately flush. Poopery. Try it out. Sponsor us, Poopery. We should just have candles in the in the bathroom. Also, my That's duty great. doesn't light a fire smell. A okay, bus. okay, fine. The 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 scent sticks. The incense. incense. Uh, I uh, look. I'll I I'll be understand. honest. I have. I I am not. I don't care that much. My guy. My I dude. do not care. But I also don't have a great sense of smell, so it, I don't yeah. think it would bother me if anyone dropped a hot one. Yeah. The, the the real the, <laughs> the cause, bathroom because like the first the first uh, tour is in Washington, mm-hmm. and then we go down to Portland, right? Or sorry, Seattle to Portland. So um, that won't be too bad. That'll be like I don't know, like a four hour drive, five mm-hmm. hour drive, something like that. But the real test is Portland to Sacramento because that is a ten hour drive. Is that really that long? It's around there. But what about yeah. Sacramento down to San Diego? Oh, that's also pretty long. But that's that's eight hours, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So 10 hours, 10 hours. But we stop. Time. We're not going to go 10 and, hours And straight. the hope is we're sleeping. You don't poop when you sleep, right? Not usually? I mean, not anymore. Okay. I've worked past it. But are we <laughs> driving overnight? I thought we were, we're staying at hotels. We're driving overnight. We're driving. Oh. We, see, that's the thing, man. We're sleeping on the tour bus and we're going into hotels just so we can like shower real quick. So there's no like true time of comfort. We're always sleeping on the bus and you only can poop during the time when you're also going to shower. What are the bed so, situations like? Oh, it's they're stacked on each other bunk style um, while we're moving and driving yeah. and you can hear the road. I, and I, I I'm not allowed to poop. I want to apologize in advance to the shows where we just show up and we're dead tired. Yeah. Yeah. Damien's crapped his pants. This is this is uh, this is this is part of the, the, hey, the joy yeah, of being. Try not to laugh. This is uh, part of the joy of being on the road. Also, like every musician's like, "Fuck you!" I had to sleep in a tiny van. Great. We got we got a big ass tour bus. We got bed. Listen, I do I'm think I do think regardless, Damien needs to have the bed closest to the bathroom. I agree with that. Gonna, yeah, like I think that's fair. I want the bed furthest away from the bathroom, furthest away from the smell. I just want to let you know that like I'm not doing this to be malicious, but if I'm on a tour bus and I have to go to the bathroom and there's a bathroom right there, For sure. I'm going to straight up do it. No, I, I get really it. am. Yeah. Um, it's fine. You, you don't gonna, care about the well-being of everyone else. I, I get really it. don't. Um, and I'm going <laughs> to immediately flush. I'm going to immediately flush and we'll use poopery. What, how is it different that we have toilets here where you... We should just we should just break a window uh, on the bus and have them just eject out the window. Well, isn't it also a thing? I mean, it's a thing for the people operating the bus that they have to clean that. Like they have to. There's a system of the pee one is different than the poop one, or is no, it's, it? the it's the same. It's a septic. Yeah, it's, it's a septic, septic tank. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's this is mainly about the smell, right? It's the smell. It's the smell thing. Yeah. But I also, I it's not like I'm eating exclusively Brussels sprouts and milk. Like it's, I'm eating normal food. We don't know that yet. I have Damn. great fiber intake. So it's it's just usually one and done flush. Yeah. It's Red, Link, Red Link did give us one, one solid piece of advice. They said um, Metamucil. They said it's, it's, your shits just aren't great on, on the road. So they, they suggested fiber. And did they Metamucil. go on the tour bus ever? Um, probably not. 
Really? Probably it's, it's not. It's a universally accepted oh. thing. You don't poop on the tour Where bus. Where are you getting this? We should ask them. From every ask person them, like, that's yeah. been on a bus. The thing is, I'm I'm one of those people. Like, it's very easy for me. I'm a I'm a once a per, once a day person. I'm thrice a day at least. Mm. I'm, I'm up once to two so far. I'm once yeah. a day, man. Yeah. It's either early in the morning or the last thing. I'm yeah. regular as a Swiss watch. I mean, I wouldn't say three times a day is. That's ordinary. not abnormal. You eat three times a day. Why not poop three times a day? You I mean, I agree with that. Lady. I agree with that. If your like an, if your intestinal system was just a straight shoot down, it it's like prunes through a goose. Just <laughs> set it on through. Yeah. <laughs> I dude, uh, yeah. This is the grossest. I'm podcast designed. I'm ahead. designed for for life on the road because yeah, it's, it, it'll be easy for me to wait for for the right times. We'll see. Because I mean, on the I'll also uh, and also we're we're doing literally five shows. This is nothing. This is this is a piece of cake. This will be so easy. Um, Cut it's really like dead. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, yeah, usually tours are pretty rough because people are doing like weeks on end and they're just eating garbage the whole time. Cause you don't, there's nowhere to really get like healthy food on the road. It's not usually the number one priority. It's just like, I just need sustenance. Give me pizza, mm. which sounds okay. awesome right now. Bless you. Bless you. This is the gross conversation. So I will say Damien, I fully, I fully support your need to poop. I'm just saying. I will do my best to not while we're on the tour bus. It's not bus. like you're it's actively like, I'm, like, I'm yeah, gonna I'm shit in this bus. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna like block the door. Yeah. And say, you shall not pass. And I'm also not like locking the windows and be like, get ready to smell something weird. Oh, there aren't any like windows. It, what's up? There won't be any windows to open on on the bus. What does this bus look like? I'm guessing it's like a kind of like I don't think those I don't think windows open on those big buses, right, Kevin? Uh, they, they don't. The emergency windows do. Yeah, yeah. So Better. you want to bust open an yeah, emergency window? Yeah, but this is a situation. I think the thing that we're gonna have to decide early on is like, do we either want to let Damien poop on the bus or do we want to have to stop right. every now and then? Right. Like, and that that. Well, but I, he doesn't want to stop because he doesn't want to sh- in a McDonald's. But bathroom. but also but like if that was but even I don't know if I want us to stop either because I'd rather us just get to the just next get town. To the thing, yeah. It sounds like the only person that was in any way opposing me going to the bathroom on the bus was you, and then you've just said I fully support it. So this is a non-issue. Also, comment down below. Poop rights for everyone. I think I think here here here's here's what we'll do. Okay. All right. Can we can we can we agree on this? Hmm. All right. On the first leg, Seattle to Portland. Let's give it a shot. That's only four hours. Whether right? or not, whether or not you need to Can poop. Can you go four hours? I'm pooping? not. No, 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 no. I want him to poop. <laughs> I want you to poop, Damien. I need you to poop on the bus on that first leg oh, I'm already so we can not, see how bad it truly is. I'm not a smell. very schedule person. Uh, you want me to plan out a yes. month in advance when I'm going to take a yeah. poop? Start now. Heaven help the Well, man we're just saying if, if, <laughs> if, in a, if in a four hour span you feel like, you know, I don't have to, but I could. I go could at it. any time, but that's the thing. Well, I'm, then if you can at any time, I'm, then do it's it. It's all I'm thinking about right now. Then As soon as we're done, I'm going to go do it. Well, but so number three? In that four hour span, you're going to be able to go to the bathroom. Yeah, sure. So then we're saying do it. Great. Yeah. Easy. It's great. And we'll see how bad it is. You'll see how bad it is. And then if it's not bad, then, hey, then it's all good, my God, dude. I'm going to be so mad if this is the highlight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're doing uh, we're, not, like, we're not doing, doing highlights. We're not doing, we're not doing highlights oh, anymore. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> that got flushed down the drain. Like your poops on the tour bus. Thank yeah. you. I, um, oh God, you all went crazy. See, I'd rather do it from the comfort in. Mm. What? Like at a at a hotel or motel. oh got it yeah. no they're they're getting us uh, the four seasons oh sh- better uh, nope <laughs> what I don't know how much we're, how much time we got do we have time for me to poop before that do you need to poop no, right now we, I can wait I can talk to, I can talk to I can talk to Shane <laughs> go poop, poop dude it'd be funny yeah okay. let us know how it smells bring a little jar in here so we could feel what it's gonna I be like on the bus can you bring us a drink. stool sample Rose yeah. water. tour I can bring you a tiny stool. It's a stool sample. Oh, that's funny. It's a tiny chair. <laughs> that's <laughs> funny. That's funny. All right, let's pick any other topic. <laughs> What's up, friends? I'm going to talk to you for a second about the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. We are well into the new year at this point, but which resolutions are you actually sticking to? I personally realized recently that the mattress I've been using is uh, not of the highest caliber, and that does affect me throughout the night. So I've been reading up a lot on the Sleep Number bed. So Sleep Number has that individual fit technology, which you can only find at a Sleep Number store. If you go into a Sleep Number store, you can explore the science behind the bed. You get to discover the comfort 
that you and your partner need, specifically what your number would be. You can visually see your body's pressure points react to a Sleep Number 360 smart bed, which I think is so cool because there's only so much you feel. Like sometimes you just kinda gotta see. This year, discover proven quality sleep. Discover proven quality sleep with the Sleep Number 360 smart bed. Save $1,000 on a Queen Special Edition smart bed, now $1,799 during the January sale. Only at a Sleep Number store or sleepnumber.com slash cadence, C-A-D-E-N-C-E. -E. You know, new year, new decade. Mm. Um, any, any predictions? Oh, yeah. I want to do a little thing. Uh, I want to do a little thing here. Uh, so I used to, uh, on set, I used to call it when I think I, we would rap. Mm. And I used to be very accurate a lot of times. Like, I would be calling it. And I would say, like, all right, I'm calling it 6 p.m. Uh, so I'm going to do that starting now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it for a lot of things. Uh, kind of already did this on Smosh Games, but I already called uh, that there would be a Chiefs, Niners, Super Bowl. But none mm. of y'all care about that. Mm. But something I am going to call, and this might seem obvious to a lot of you, but I don't know. I'm still calling it. Uh, the trailer for Black Widow came out, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, looks really good. Mm -hmm. And uh, the actress who plays Scarlett Johansson's or Black Widow's little sister, uh, her name's Florence Pugh, really awesome actress, got nominated. I am calling it that they're clearly setting it up for Black Widow's not going to come back. She mm -hmm. did die in Endgame. Whoa. And oh, spoiler, spoiler. Uh, she did die. I forgot she died. Yeah, but that's, that's how little that's they how did little it, her did character it, mattered. But like everyone was like, oh, she's coming back. Like they're reviving Black Widow. It's going to be a thing. But I don't think they are. I think Scarlett Johansson's done with Marvel mm. and I think Florence Pugh is going to be the new black like they're going to set up a thing where it's like oh I'm her younger sister I'm now Black Widow they're definitely doing that for a lot yeah. of actors, It's it so. looks very obvious I'm well, still I'm calling it because because Florence Pugh is literally a 23 year old Scarlett Johansson yeah. mm -hmm. she has a yeah. deep voice <laughs> she's like attractive got gotten Oscar nominations it's and like also, perfect and also it's like you know Scarlett Johansson the, the Black Widow series obviously takes place before the Marvel movies, right? Yeah. So it's like, it's kind of weird that now, 10 years later, she's got to play a, a, a version of herself that was younger than when she started. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's, ago. I think it might just be in the middle of it all. Oh, okay. I, th I don't think it's necessarily like before. Yeah. Like, I think it might even take place during like okay, so Winter that's what Soldier you're calling. time. That's what you're But calling. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm calling it that it's okay. like Black Widows, they're going to reveal like this is. You know she's done, but they wanted to give her her own movie. Mm -hmm. so they've been asking for it forever, so it's like it's gonna we're gonna finally reveal everything about Natasha. It's gonna be like holy crap, but then it's gonna be like no, but she's gone, and mm -hmm. now her little sister, who's gonna be mostly like kind of evil throughout the movie, it's gonna be kind of like like ugh, I don't get like your whole deal with the Avengers mm -hmm. and all that bull crap. But then at the end she'll be she'll be like oh my god, my older sister. Awesome. I totally get it. Now. I'm gonna take up the moniker of Black okay. Widow, which is also what Marvel's clearly gonna have to do when yeah. you have to replace actors. Iron Man. Black Widow, Captain America, these names will stick around, yep. but they will be different people. Right. I really and hope Iron Man. The cheaper people. I <laughs> hope Iron Man becomes, uh, I hope it's uh, Black Panther's little sister. That would be, that That'd makes be cool. perfect sense yeah. to me. Mm. Like the smartest person in the world makes suits, uh, yeah. like ha uses hand blasters in the movies that she's yeah. been in. Come on, like put, give her, she is, and the, the end of Black Panther, she's in California. Mm -hmm. Like, they, Makes sense. It feels like they set it up, but also not. So I don't know. I think she'll be involved somehow. I don't know if she'll right. be the next Iron Man yet. Right. Because they still have her being like such a kid. Yeah. Um, but that's also what you do. Like you, totally. Well, you have her do that. You have, man, you have someone else become, uh, I don't know what they're doing with like Hawkeye and stuff, but you could set up a Young Avengers situation too. Mm. Mm. But I'm not calling that. So just, you're just calling. I'm just calling that Florence Pugh is going to be the Pugh. next Black Widow for the next Florence like 10 Pugh years. Pugh. Okay. Florence Peter Pie. Nice. Right. I got one, I guess. Mm. Also also movie related. Um, oh. I saw the trailer the Morbius trailer yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And um it it looks like a big old steaming hot pile of garbage. Um <laughs> and uh Wait, I is think, this also a calling it? Or are we all calling stuff? Yes, you I'm can calling if you it. want. Oh, okay. you don't so, have to. It was just my bit. Oh, okay. So I'm calling that when does when does Morbius even come out? Oh, no. July thirty first. 2020. You're calling that's going to be bad. I'm calling that it's going to get a worse uh, IMDb score than Venom. Ooh, that's a good call on it. Wow. And that's a that's a good call on it. Wow. Um, calling that it'll probably be probably be about on par with it, its Rotten Tomatoes score, which is 29. percent Oh wow. wow! I didn't see I didn't see Venom, but I, I didn't see Venom great. either. Uh, I heard it was fun, but like Morbius it's is like fine. it's like what he's a Vampire guy. Also, it's Jared Leto. Like, does anyone f 
care about him I don't know. that much anymore. He's an interesting character. Yeah. I don't know. All uh, right, I'm calling it. Nice. Calling it. Morbius right. is going to be we're, trash. We're gonna, we, need to keep, we need to keep tabs on this and get mm. a tally. So if, if people are calling stuff and it's accurate, yeah. Then it's like okay. Did you see the Did you see the trailer for Morbius? I did. It's like it's, I don't know what to think of it. It's got the It's got the like the. I feel like we're we're probably gonna call in another thing. I th- I feel like we're we're on the we're on the precipice of a new trailer trope because right now the trailer trope is a lot of like slam noises. Bam 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 bam. Um, do, 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 Literally the Black Widow trailer. Bum, bum, the Black Widow trailer. It's the new, it's the new like, bwah, yeah, it's, it's from the Inception. Bwah. Yeah, the funny, or, bwah. or the hog horn. Or yeah. do you remember the single piano keynote? Yeah. yeah. Bing. We got to save everyone. Bing. Oh, yeah. no. We're, we are we are in the slamming. So I feel like right now it's just like, dun, 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 dun. That's definitely. That's and the definitely Morbius trailer the is just like trailer. all that shit. It is Yikes. a lot of it. I don't know what to think. I think Sony's trying to just use every single uh, property they own. They're like, what do we got? Venom, and we got Morbius. Wait, is yeah. Morbius part of the So yes. it's, more, it's part of the, it, it's connected technically to the MCU because it's connected to oh. the, it's connected to the um, Spider-Man Far From Home universe. Oh, okay. So only that, only that aspect. So somebody, he's a vampire. Somebody pointed out like, okay. you, yeah, he's, he's not technically a vampire. He uh, is, but he isn't. Oh. He's not actually a vampire, but he is a... But he needs blood to he survive. Is, he's essentially... He has all the traits of a vampire to a certain extent, but he's a scientific... He's he's like the Hulk, if the Hulk were more like a vampire. Got it. Um, it's a science So he's a vampire, thing. but he didn't just get bitten by another right. older human. Yeah, and Got I think he can, he can survive in sunlight, and he's not allergic to garlic or whatever. Mm. But I do think they're hoping it sets up like Blade. Wolf Blade Blade would be too. cool. Blade would be cool. Well, Blade's going to be happening. Blade's going to be... Yeah, it's a movie. It's uh, what's his name from Moonlight and uh, what? Marsha uh, Marsha Shalali? Yeah, yeah, he's Ooh. gonna be Blade. I'm, All right, I'm pretty. That's cool. positive. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can't can't beat my boy Snipes, but All right. what are you taxes? <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Sorry. Oh boy! Uh, got you're him. Waiting, you're just waiting for that. No, I mean no. Um, <laughs> I didn't know Wesley Snipes was going to come up in this combo. I actually never really. I saw like the first. I, I saw love. Part of the I first love. Blade. I love all three, man. They're and, so fun. But I was like a kid when I when me like too. I saw Blade, and it, I remember watching it, it with my dad. Kind of traumatized me. They're great. Like, how much blood there was. There's a and lot. And I was like, I was like, ah, like because my parents didn't let me watch like rated R movies mm-hmm. growing up. So I watched R movies from like age five. Yeah, well, that explains those movies are so good. I love that awesome Blade. Blade had a trilogy. Yeah, like mm-hmm. that was like the first. And was, was it, it the called first Blade Marvel trilogy? Probably. It was called Blade Trinity. Was mm-hmm. it yeah. the third one? So good. Yeah, I remember so the one good. where like they're talking about summoning La Magra, and there was like they're like in this dance party, and mm. that's like mainly awesome. what I remember about. Yeah, and there's like all blood. It's like a blood party. Yeah, right? it's like a blood party. Yeah, that's blood what party. I remember and being like really freaked out about it. I was like, is this what it's like being a teen? Yeah, <laughs> and then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Blade Two: Rise of the Lichens. Yeah, no, it's not. That's you gotta, yeah. That's the one. No, yeah, uh-huh. I'm not letting this be a thing, Ethan. Matrix Two: Rise of the Lichens. <laughs> Re- reloaded. It's reloaded. <laughs> um, no, I'm pretty sure it's Rise of the Lichens. What? They need to make a movie called Rise of the Lichens, but it's about like moss. Blade Two: Temple of Doom. Lichens. Lichens. Like lichen. Um, oh, like the moss. Is moss lichen? Yeah, it's a different kind of thing. Like lichen? L- 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 yeah. L- um, no. yeah. This is going nowhere. Uh, I'm liking this bit. <sighs> I'm liking this bit too. Oh, so, Rise of the so, Lichens. So, <laughs> 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 nobody, I feel like that movie, like Underworld Rise of the Lichens came out in like, 2000 oh no one like, knows what this is this is just for us sorry there's 50 there's a million, underworld yes. movies and also 50 resident resident evil yep, right yep there's there's it's, an audience it's astounding for, that nobody saw resident evil 2 but yet they made 5,000 more of them because they were the only like accessible gaming movies at the time where you're like oh what zombies got it like I don't think it's gamers. I don't think it's gamers that are watching the Resident Evil. Because that's what I mean. Because different. it's people right. being like, "Oh, I can still see what this is. I've heard of this, but now I just know it's zombies." Yeah. But I think going off on a little tangent here, we are finally starting to discover video game movies have never worked because they 
video games are a lot like books in that you're going to spend 40 to 50 hours with a story or a character and really get immersed in a world and that's what makes you love them so much if a game were two hours you'd be like this game sucks same with the movie and that's why i think the witcher nailed it so hard on Boom. netflix because they're doing a series you finally have 12 hours to spend and like my mom is watching the witcher she doesn't know yeah. about the books or the games but it's accessible now because we get to learn well and I it's guess also the, it's also a more adult franchise like right. it's it's not like a PG-13 kind of like game. I guess the, you know. the, the argument that people are making is that it is technically, it's no different than any fantasy series based on books because it mm -hmm. is it is drawing almost entirely from the books. Okay, I, don't, actually, I think like, right. like <laughs> I don't think, I think maybe, I think the only thing that's really been drawn from the game is uh, Henry Cavill, I think, got the voice mm -hmm. from the game. But I don't think any story-wise though. But they're not, they're not, I mean, they are adapting the books, but they would not have made this series had there not been a very successful game franchise that gave true. us the look and the Probably. style of all the stuff. It's, yeah. it's the same as like, I don't know. Know, right. if Assassin's Creed had a 12 episode <laughs> run but see the yeah. movie was terrible because they had to set up so much and get you on board even if you haven't played the games this is like they can take their time with you and slowly just I think you're you right well then what, what game do you think could, they could do next I think like, Assassin's Creed Assassin's would be Creed incredible. would have been dope it would have been great as a series because it's historical fiction yeah. that checks off so many boxes that can you know Game of Thrones almost does but it's more fantasy also um, like I never watched it but like their like the movie's interpretation of like the animus cause like in the game you just like sit in a bed it's your brain and yeah. it's like in your brain but then like they were like that's not that's not cool enough so like they had him like suspended on this thing like doing yeah, the actions that looks dumb. and it just um, Seemed really silly. You know, I I have a weird pitch that I really do. Oh, but what's think. your what's your call? Yeah, are you are you calling? Anything? What are you calling? You don't have to. Oh. Oh, I don't have a call. Okay, sure. Uh, this year, we're going to see another gaming-based thing from Netflix, uh, like a 12-episode run, something like a Mass Effect. Oh, I think would be great. Ooh, Mass uh, Effect would be so good. Yup. I got shelved a long time ago. Yeah. Was that a thing for real? Yeah, same thing with Uncharted. Oh. I think they're on to like... I but think see, they're, they're, they're trying the to make a two-hour movie, and yeah. it keeps... How it's do also, you do they it? They also change yeah. them so much. They're almost never actual... They're, they're, it's almost like inspired by the video yeah. game. Yep. Uh, Did you ever see Forward Unto Dawn, the Halo like short series? Um, It was... Yeah, it no. was all right. I so for sorry, I got confused for a second because I thought you were talking about Halo Fall of Reach, which is no. where I'm where I play Master Chief. I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry. Wow. And I was about to be like, yes, I've seen it. So, um, <laughs> I was teenage. Uh, but the one that I think would actually be a legit show. It's weird. Well, you were Master Chief in the book. No, in the He's in the, the animated thing for Halo Fall of Reach. I'm I'm teenage Master Chief, and I didn't even oh. know it was a Halo project. And when I got in the booth, and that's how oh. secret they keep things until I got in there. Like you know Halo, right? And I'm like sort of. They're like, great, you're John. I'm like, oh god. I read so that book. It was one of my first ever back voice in jobs. the day. Mm. I was a big Halo fan. I read that book. Well, I'll sign. It's your a good face. book. It was a fun book. I enjoyed want. it. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, the the video game that I think could be a good show, and I, this would be very different. But uh, I think Metroid could be an awesome because that would they're, be cool because there's so much like. And that's one where they would have to essentially create the story because there's much, but it's like that setting is so unique. Mm -hmm. It's so like, I don't know. I think it'd be done really cool. Do you think we'll ever see anything like that from I, Nintendo? Do it like though? a horror. Do it literally like a, a isolated horror. Because Nintendo guess, doesn't do that. I guess like, yeah, that's true. Also, but like, but yeah, like how would don't. she roll up into a ball? Oh God. But how would she roll up into the ball though? Yeah, that's the one problem. She yeah, that's the you one didn't problem. think about how she'd roll up. Also, roll up I was going to say, like, they, they would, like, one issue has always been, like, a helmeted character where you can't see their face. But Mandalorian, Mandalorian, Mandalorian yep. pulled, Fantastic. It, pulled it off. But, they really did. But it's also because of his, his personality and his character. He gets away with it because it's not really about, like, he's just kind of a stoic. In a, in a show, you would probably see your yeah. face through the helmet. They could just do like an Iron Man. You see yeah, inside the helmet. Exactly. And there's a lot. Oh, yeah, there's a lot to yeah. dig with for Samus there because you know she's not. I mean, she's silent because of the nature of the game. But like yeah. at her core, she is. It's the pull of being a mother. It's wait, always wait, been. Wait, about, hold on, Samus is a is a girl. Yes. Oh, you know that. Um, oh. But it's the pull of being a mother. It's you know taking down Mother Brain as the final boss in the first one, and then finding a Metroid egg and keeping it because she has this feeling of like I can't hurt this baby it's the last of its kind and she like nurses it and it accepts her as like spoiler alert in the second game that same baby that she saves comes back and saves her because there is this connection even cross species it's like raising something from you do it you do yeah. a three episode hour and a half an episode thing with that mm -hmm. you make it really like you make the first episode 
have like a couple lines of dialogue. Mm -hmm. You have them being like, all right, so you know the mission, like here you go. And it's like that first 45 minutes is her walking through caves and you're like, what the hell's going on? There's Mm -hmm. some weird crap. And then like you, you culminate it with like fighting Ridley or something or yeah. just I mean have it go nuts maybe it starts with that battle and then she gets the egg and then it is literally her struggle of like what to do about this I think it's just too silly of a universe I don't think people would like mm. I think you make it super you know? I don't know I think it could I think there's too much mystery like it's you know the the problem with other things is when people know too much about something yes then they get all mad but that's one that you could kind of like Enough people don't know much, yeah. and but everybody knows of that character. It's kind of crazy right. they haven't done a Zelda thing. But that's the thing. Nintendo just they doesn't. They don't. They and, don't let yeah. it. I wish they, they do I'll, manga. I also wish they would do an F-Zero one. Make that insane. F-Zero oh, would be yeah. Make that oh, absolute, yeah. like, you that cast, like. And Captain Falcon's all just the, an to literally have the cast of Fast and Furious as racers, and they'll yes. just, like, you just are like, okay, the, uh, you cast Dwayne Johnson, just be like, just go nuts, man. Just make the character whatever you want. Like any of you can play any like yeah. all these all these racers could be Hell any yeah. character. You know what would actually be that. awesome is uh, like a Dark Souls or a Bloodborne. If you're gonna go the silent protagonist thing, like with yeah. you uh, or Diablo. Metroid. Diablo would be cool. Be- Diablo, I could actually see being yeah. a thing, but I think the lore of Dark Souls is like rich enough that it's yeah. got that fantasy element that I think people would be stoked to As see. As a it. show, and a they show they've got really all work. those characters that are just always hanging around that you talk to a bit. But like, make the like depressed knight your like the bard that follows you around basically, and is mm. you know you almost make that like each. It's just almost. An- not an anthology, but every episode's it's a standalone thing, kind of kind of thing where you, you come across a different being or a different person, and like yeah. it's always like some sort of dark mm-hmm. tale. Okay, could be cool. So dark what do you tales. so what are you calling? What am I calling? Oh, I'm saying the, the, the we'll see he more video that we'll more see video more video game adaptations games. as on, a series on, on Netflix or something, Netflix, like that, or Hulu, something. Amazon. Um, um, yeah, I think with the success HBO. of with the success of Witcher, honestly, I think it's other possible. streaming services are going to be like, well, we gotta do ours because after yeah. Game of Thrones, then Amazon's like, we're going to do a billion dollar Lord of the Rings. Well, do series. we know? Yeah. Do we know if The Witcher was even successful? I mean, like it we, was. We it was the most. Wa- it. it was the most watched. Say what now? It was the most streamed series. It was the most streamed series. Yeah, baby, more Witcher. It beat Stranger Things. Yeah, it beat Stranger Things. Suck it, Stranger Things. Get out of here, It's also crazy because it was critically panned. Like, it was? They, yes, Witcher mm. critics did not Whoa. like. Yes, it, it has that. a 65 on Rotten, which isn't terrible. That's but like, bad. But it got really pretty bad reviews by a lot of places, but still did so well. It was definitely it was definitely a rough start in it the was. show. And the time jump thing, for anybody who hasn't seen it yet, um, I this is not a spoiler. I think it's something that will just help. For all the different characters that they focus on, they are in different slightly, timelines slightly at that different time. Timelines. Some of it is like way before some of the others. So like yeah. I had to explain that to my mom because it was just like, why are they meeting in court now? Like they explain it yeah. real quick, like in Geralt's storyline, uh, there's a character that says, you know, did you hear that this person just won their first battle? Mm-hmm. And the, and she's a woman so she can do anything and then they cut to that lady who is at that point a grandmother and a very seasoned warrior yeah being like i remember when i had that battle back yeah. in the day and i'm like that's yeah. the one thing you're doing to tell audiences yeah. good luck yeah. yeah they 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 didn't do a great job with that i think the reason you don't think the real reason why the witcher beat stranger things hmm. stranger things didn't have a freaking toss a coin to 11 it was just a fun show it you was, know because it, was it wasn't it wasn't it had gritty moments, but it was overall more mm-hmm. more fun mm-hmm. than it was dark and insane, which I love. And it's got tooties. Ha ha ha. Also, oh. you know, Henry Cavill, I was doubting him, but he ended up being he the did best a great part. Job. He was the best I was part of that very show. worried. Yeah. I was very worried. He nailed it. He really, he really, I, really did. Man. Um, who who would have known? Who would have known? You had a you had a little uh segment you what you were pitching before this start of this oh yeah uh well i mean like Do we have time we got five minutes oh, so probably shouldn't let's, let's save it yeah. yeah let's let's end this with some with some good news guys Ooh. um damien's vitamin d deficiency <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> this so, is random as hell but like basically i've been for the like past year i've been like my mood just hasn't been awesome i've been really tired all the time and i'm just like what's going on with me and about a week and a half ago, I found like some multivitamins I used to take. I was like, oh yeah, I should start taking these again. And I immediately felt like a flipping superhero. You ever just forget for about a year that you have a vitamin D deficiency? I did because I used to like have these like medicines and vitamins that I would take that were just sort of lined up in my cabinet. Uh And then I moved and I didn't have them just in front of my face all the time. So I literally just forgot that like, yeah, I really need to take these things to feel good. But can't you get vitamin D for free? 
Yeah, from the sun, which yeah. I'm not going to do because I get hives when I go out in the sun. Uh, you see, I'm a, a vampire. Mess. I'm a mess. But like, what if you don't like get hot or sweaty? Like, can you just kind of like, go out in the sun for like a little? How long? Like a little bit, but like taking a massive amount of vitamin D and a vitamin will, like, is still more than what the sun gives you. I think. How long? How long in the sun before you start getting it? I mean, it's not bad, but if the sun starts like beating down on me and getting a little hot, mm-hmm. it'll be like a half hour to an well, hour. Well, I mean, you shouldn't but... be spending a lot of time in the sun anyway. Yeah, because we broke. You the got, earth. You got to get that balance between I think vitamin like, D and cancer. I think like 15, 20 minutes in the sun is really good for you every day. Or a vitamin while I'm in my room playing computer games like Danganronpa. Shout out to Kevin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to just take a pill and fix it. I, I'm still not convinced that Dangan Rampa is an actual game. It or is, if and it's, it's just an Australian. He's just, sta- word. He's just staring in front of a, a screen with white noise. <laughs> yeah, this game is great. great. <laughs> Dangan Rampa. I love these pills next to my computer. <laughs> Vitamin D. Um, oh so you're feeling God. you're feeling better now. I feel awesome. Dude, I and these feel are marbles, like a, <laughs> and and they're great. Um, I feel like a rock star. I literally feel awesome. I wake up and I'm able to like hop right out of bed. Uh-huh. My sleep is restful. I have energy throughout the day. I used to come home from work, take a nap, and then immediately like stream or whatever, and then I would just be dead. Mm-hmm. Now I'm like hopping back on stream and actually feeling like, hey, let's go. It's another day. Like, yeah. and I was worried because I was like, I feel like my energy's been low for months. People are gonna get bored and bummed and all that. Um, and I like haven't been exercising either. I was like, how do I have energy to do this? Now I do. All right. So I feel awesome. So your advice to the kids is don't exercise, just take vitamin D pills. No. Is, that, is that what I'm taking I'm away saying from this? If you're tired all the time, maybe there's a reason. Get checked out. And yeah. if you have a vitamin D deficiency, take a bunch of vitamin D. Your yeah. energy is going to be awesome almost immediately, and then you can work out. Yeah. Hey, if you got um, if you got health insurance or you live in a country that isn't fucked and has a national health care system, get your blood checked. Figure out if you're, you know, deficient in any yeah, way. Yeah, get tested for blood. If you don't have blood, you need it. Probably. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the, the jury's still out on if you need blood or not. Yeah. It's and not bone really marrow. Sure. Yeah. You maybe and we've come it. full circle. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, and at that, I'll close it out. Guys, get your blood, get your bone marrow, get, get your small Australia shirts. A hundred percent of the proceeds go to the Australian Red Cross. Can I say Let's one more thing Let's save those about wallabies. It? Yes, please. Okay. Sometimes when people make merch, it's printed on like that horrible, horrible oh, cotton yeah. that everybody hates, and it just mm-hmm. sits in your closet forever, and you never wear it. Mm-hmm. This shirt is so comfy. It's oh, that yeah. like soft. Air. It's that soft cotton. I will oh, actually yeah. legitimately be wearing this all the time. It feels very nice. It is a very nice it feeling shirt. It is not so that garbage nice. So cotton. feel feel good about your contribution and feel good in your shirt. Mm-hmm. Love you so much. Smoshcast coming at you every whoa, whoa, whoa Wednesday on all the podcast listening platforms. Rate it five stars on all those apps, any of those apps. We really, really appreciate it. And the video format comes out on Friday on the Smoshcast YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Shane. Thank you. Thank you, Damien. Uh, Get your blood checked and uh, spay and neuter your cats. Bye. Spay and neuter your siblings. No pooping on the bus. No pooping on the bus. Pooping at a bus.